Let's do a comparison of AI video animation between Pika Labs and Runway Gen 2. First, I'll test out the base animation by uploading a reference image, like this ballet dancer, and ask both Pika and Runway video generators to animate it. To start off, I won't prompt for anything specific or change any parameters to see what the base AI animates. Here's what Pika Labs gets us. Not too impressive initially, as there isn't any motion. Generating human motion is really hard to do in Pika. This is what Runway animates. The camera movement is much more cinematic, and there's some great looking human motion. Pay attention though to how the lighting increases towards the end of the video. I notice this happening a lot in Runway's videos. For both Pika and Runway, the face of the dancer becomes pretty warped in the video. Let's try an image of this ship. Pika Labs does a great job animating the waves, and the ship bobbles up and down, accurately simulating physics. Runway's animation doesn't seem to be as realistic. The waves are a bit more static, although there is a tiny bit of camera motion. Notice that light source beaming in at the end of the video again. Runway's videos tend to get brighter throughout. Runway's videos are longer at 4 seconds, while Pika's videos are 3 seconds long, so you'll see me freezing the Pika videos in side-by-side -side comparisons. One cool feature in Runway is the ability to extend your video length all the way up to 16 seconds, but when I tested it out, the results weren't as good as I hoped. Here's the video of the ship extended to 12 seconds. Notice how the video changes color palette and ends up with something that doesn't match our reference image colors. This is really common. I extended the video of the ballet dancer I generated in Runway and watch how it distorts into a different person near the end of the video. Runway frequently warps your reference images into something totally different. I tried animating this video of a dragon and it turns into a purple humanoid statue, which is cool but not what I wanted. I have seen this behavior in Pika before, but it's way more rare. I promise you these aren't cherry picked results. I animated a ton of different images and kept noticing this warping behavior happening. Let's try one more basic test. Here's an image with some lightning in it. Pika does a solid job of animating the lightning and the clouds float around a little bit. Runway's animation shifts away from the original image again. I do like how the clouds fly overhead, but I did expect to see some lightning effects. I think Runway's AI model is more rigid than Pika and is biased towards generating a specific type of video that has more cinematic motions in general, but is less creative and tends to follow similar patterns, like the increasing of the brightness throughout the videos. We'll be testing a lot more animations though, so you be the judge. In the rest of this animation test, we'll compare prompt creativity and flexibility, human motion animation, and also the camera movement features of Pika and Runway. When I talk about prompt creativity, I mean the ability to inject your ideas into the prompt and have the AI animate them in the video. Take this photo of a creek for instance. In Pika Labs, I can ask for a bear walking in the AI video, but that's impossible in Runway. Although Runway's video does have a little bit of camera movement here. I tried animating a building collapsing. Pika attempts to follow my prompt instructions, and you see some walls falling down. But Runway's video simply moves the camera and totally ignores my prompt. Runway generates more cinematic motions, there's no doubt about that. But it doesn't follow my prompt instructions as well. I attempted to animate a surf around some waves. Once again, Pika follows my prompt. But Runway isn't able to hallucinate a surfer. Let's move on to animating human motions. I'm most excited about this part, because after watching a bunch of AI films created using Runway, it looks like Runway has really good quality when it comes to animating human motions, which is difficult to do in Pika. Here's a dancer wearing a dress. Pika animates a little bit of motion, but nothing too impressive. Look at Runway's animation though. This is shockingly good. It's got a wide range of motion and there's no disfiguring of the arms, which happens in Pika frequently. The physics and proportions of the body look accurate, so Runway is a clear winner here. Here's a man on a skateboard. Pika doesn't get any motion, but Runway is able to animate him sliding around. Again, there's that beam of light at the end of the video. I'm not a fan of that, especially since I'm not prompting for it. I animated a girl running. This time, Pika did a better job. You can see the girl's legs moving in a running motion. There's some disfiguring and blending of the legs together, but the motion looks fairly accurate. Runway, however, takes a tiny step forward and freezes the animation while the camera slides forward a bit. 
This video of a woman walking should have been fairly straightforward. Pika moves the legs and arms in a walking motion. Runway kind of just slides forward, and again with a beam of light on the video towards the end. I really hope they get rid of that or make an option to disable it. Here's my theory. Runway's animations of human movement and camera motions are very high quality when actually animated, but it's much more risk averse, meaning it only animates motions if the model is sure that it'll look good. Pika's animations of human movements and camera motions aren't as cinematic as Runway's, but it's much more adventurous and often tries to animate motions even if the result ends up looking distorted or inaccurate. Let's look at a couple more examples. Here's an image of a woman I generated in mid-journey. The Pika animation has a little bit of head and body movement, but it's fairly restricted. The runway human animation is incredible. Here's a couple of different attempts I had. It's coherent, consistent motion. The problem though is I have no idea who that is. The person in the animation warps into something that looks nothing like my original reference image. Like I said before, Runway seems to have a stronger bias on exactly what types of videos it wants to generate and pushes the animations towards that. Also, it censors videos from time to time. Here's a boy flying a kite. I animated in Pika. The kite blows in the wind and the boy hops around. And this is what Runway came up with. I assume in this instance it's censored because there's an image of a child in the video. Let's move on and compare some close-up animations of human heads. For this barbarian warrior, Pika actually produced decent facial motions and a blink. This was one of the better attempts I had. Usually the head stays static and there's some wind blowing the hair. Runway has a nice camera zoom in and the head looks up. The facial structure changes a bit, but the paint stays the same, which was a pleasant surprise. Here's a female demon. Pika makes a mouth speak, but the head stays static. Runway generates a smooth head tilting movement. Last comparison here. Once again, Runway has better head movement. I thought the animation was promising from Runway, so I extended it. You'll notice the face warping a bit, but the colors stay the same. As far as camera motions go, Pika Labs and Runway Gen 2 offer a similar set of options. Both have the ability to zoom in and zoom out. I'll give the better camera shots to Runway since they're more dynamic. You can also pan in multiple directions. In Pika Labs, the motions are more straightforward, but accurate as described for the most part. Our pet polar bear has some subtle tweaks and mostly stays still. For Runway, the panning motions are way more dynamic, although our bear starts to become distorted in these videos. Once Runway is able to fix the distortion, it'll be really high quality. The camera also rotates for both AIs. Here's a shot rotating clockwise. Pika seems to be a bit more physically accurate. And here's counterclockwise. The motion looks good for Pika. I can't say the same for Runway though. The censorship doesn't happen that often but it was annoying since I didn't try to generate anything controversial. The original reference image has a tiny bit of blood, which is probably why Runway censored it. If you want to create something that's PG-13 or above, Runway might not be a good idea. Runway also has a few camera motions that Pika doesn't have. In Pika Labs, you have three classes of camera motions, zoom, pan, and rotate, but you're not able to combine these motions together. In Runway, you're able to combine different classes of camera movements, for example, zoom and pan, or if you want to do zoom and rotate, that works too. Here's a video showcasing a camera shot zooming out and rotating at the same time. In both Pika Labs and Runway, there's motion sliders that control the amount of motion in the scene. These work pretty much the same. For now, I'm going to say that Pika Labs is a better option. That's not what I initially expected. I thought Runway would be better based on the other AI videos I've seen and also the fact that it's a paid service. To compare the two models, I purchased the Runway subscription at $15 a month. The problem is, this tier only gets you around 2 minutes of video generations. You didn't hear that wrong. $15 gets you 2 minutes of video. I ended up having to spend 10 more dollars to get the extra credits to finish this animation test, bringing my total cost up to $25. Even the more expensive $35 per month pro plan still only gets you 7.5 minutes. 
With the amount of times you have to re-roll your videos due to the amount of distortion and warping that Runway is prone to, seven and a half minutes isn't enough for anything besides super short videos. Although Pika Labs doesn't have as cinematic camera motions or dynamic human movement as Runway, it's a more creative and flexible AI video generator. The fact that Pika Labs is free pushes it over Runway for me. To see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Also, go and check out my beginner tutorials on animating videos using Pika Labs.